Hi, my name is Glenn Gross and I'm the owner of Safeway Electric and welcome to our training room. Today we're going to be putting together some videos demonstrating how to perform some simple jobs around the home. We get a lot of questions. What is a service panel and where is the service panel located? Usually at your home the service panel will be located at the back of the house or on the side of the house. You'll find a meter attached to your service panel. The Edison lines to your service panel usually come in overhead or underground. In this case they're coming in overhead. Inside the service panel is circuit breakers that puts power to different parts of the house. The service panel has a main shutoff switch. So if there's ever an emergency or you need to work on something, the main shutoff switch is usually, usually labeled service panel disconnect or emergency disconnect or main shutoff. Be sure to shut it off before performing any work inside the home. By removing the dead front cover, you can see inside the panel and I'll go ahead and identify some of these parts. These are circuit breakers. Back here, this shiny piece of metal, this is called the bus bar. The bus bar gets its power through the meter, over to the main breaker, the main circuit breaker puts power on the bus bar and then these circuit breakers clip in place and then provide power to the circuits inside the home. You need to be careful, this bus bar is very dangerous, it's energized and it has electricity on it at all times as long as the main circuit breaker is turned on. This is the neutral bar, the terminal strip where all our neutrals and our grounds terminate. This solid piece of copper makes up the grounding electrode system of the service panel. 